on my finger You brought love like I've never known You give life to our children And to be a reason to go on Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Dr. William Ruto, Your Excellency, the former Prime Minister, Raila Odinga, all cabinet ministers, and all protocols observed. Good morning, it's still morning. Well, a lot has been said, and I won't say very much because we will just be repeating ourselves as family members because we enjoyed the same, same things all around. We already did a tribute, uh, the girls did a tribute for Dad, which is in your programs. But, but individually, I'll just sum up what my dad left with me. Dad, our dad, was a very special man in more ways than can ever be described. He instilled discipline in us and he didn't favor anyone when you misbehaved, whether you were a boy or a girl, and I would like to uh, remind Mike that some of us girls got equal discipline as the boys. And uh, his love for music. I am proud to say that I was always the one he asked to go and purchase the music, especially Christmas time. We would drive from, he would give me a driver from Nyeri and I would go to a shop that was on um, Moy Avenue, Assonance. Some of you from that, our contemporaries <laughs> might remember that. So I would go and make a selection. So we shared love for music, which then even our children today um, have come to love the same music. He taught us to work hard. He taught us to be well-groomed all the time. And if you are not groomed, especially if you are going out, even if it was for a drive to Mount Kenya Safari Club during our days in Nyeri, he would, you would go back to the house and dress up properly, then he would take us for tea. He taught us to work hard. He taught us to be honest. He taught us that whatever you do, do it as if it was your own work. Even if you are employed as a clerk or whatever job you took, do it like it was your own. And that saddens me today that sometimes uh, I, find, I found myself in um, positions where, where you're working with people, but they just are so casual because they say, yo si kazi yangu. And I remind them that you are here to do what you have to do and move on. It doesn't have to be your work. One other thing that I may add about his girls and his boys, but every time we all left college and you are ready to go to work, he knew that we all needed transport. And on my 21st birthday, uh, my gift was a car, and every girl here can attest that when they left home, they each got a, a vehicle because you needed to move around. And that was very special. Looking back now, I don't take it for granted because how many of us can give our children cars? 
we tell them to work hard and buy their own cars. So he was a brave man. He was a very brave man. Whether it was political challenges, and maybe we were running scared or were worried, he would tell us, Apa na ugopa, you live once. He handled every challenge so bravely that with time, we too learned to be brave. He did whatever he did without fear or favor. In our home, he didn't favor anyone. And like my sister Angela has said, he loved our mothers equally. And I would often um, tease them when I'd find them having tea all together and they say, you guys are really special. I couldn't do that. So times have changed and maybe as time goes by, we will learn from our fathers that polygamy is not so bad. Growing up in a polygamous home, especially where you have a strong, a strong man, a strong father who treats everybody equally, gives them equal chances, equal opportunities, then you won't go wrong. So because I learned that from my father, not that I, want, I would want that for... <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> so, one of the bravest moments was when he was very sick, and I would go to see him, even in his last days in hospital, and I wanted to break down. I was weak, and he would say, God loves us and God knows what the end result will be. So I would get encouraged. So dad, rest in peace, eternal peace, and we'll miss you forever. 